So, be serious, this is Plus Computer, and today, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to create um, an icon in Photoshop, iPhone icon. Uh, now, guys, I've been doing this since, like, 5 in the morning, and it's 8.30 right now. So, this is kind of like a recap of everything iPod touches, how he's been doing this for, like, 3 hours. This is, like, the 15th take. And I'm really tired, so I really gotta rush this. I'm sorry for that, but this is what we'll be making. This YouTube icon. You can add whatever kind of text you want, basically. But this is what we're making. <sighs> okay. File new. Width 60. Height 60. Pixels. Background contents transparent. Name that whatever you want. <clears throat> okay. Zoom in a little bit. Hotkey is control plus and minus to zoom out and zoom in without the zoom tool. <coughs> um, click this little button right here. Make your foreground color black. Press Alt Backspace. And for you Mac users, let me just get that this out of the way. Whenever I say press control something or something control or whenever I say control, you guys are going to use command because you don't have a control. Yours is command. That out of the way, um, make a new layer. This is gonna be like the gradient layer. It's gonna be like the wild layer almost. Um, get your light and darks of the colors that you want. I'm gonna do a blue one. And darks. Make your light very light and your dark very dark. Seriously. <laughs> Um, double click on this thing right here, foreground the background, hold shift, drag a line through, and there you go. Uh, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> um, okay, now you get your rounded rectangle tool, okay, radius 10 pixels, and drag this out, hold shift, and drag yourself out a rounded rectangle. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh, uh, just a minute, y'all. No, no, okay. There we go. Now press Control T. You see, Mac uses Command T, and go like through here, and just get this lined up with uh the uh, canvas, basically. Okay, and press the move tool, apply. Now you're going to drag your layer two above that. Okay, so it's above it. Now you're going to um, click on the shape one, press control or command, whichever one, and click this little shape right here. And you then let go of control or command, and you get this. And you're going to select layer 2, your gradient layer has to be selected, and press this little Japanese flag right here. It says add layer mask. Okay, you get that. Now you can delete layer 1, the black layer. Uh, okay, so now what you're going to do is you are going to, on top of layer 2, you'll notice that you get another little flag right there. Uh, click add a new layer. This is going to be your shine layer. Um, take your... Uh, should be a rectangular marquee. Take your uh, elliptical marquee and um, get, make sure your foreground color is white. Just click this little thing. Click the switch. It's easier. <laughs> um, take the gradient. Double click on that. Make sure it's uh, foreground transparent. Click OK. And get your elliptical marquee. And make sure that this little thing on layer 2. Um, make sure this little thing right here. It's control or command. Click this little thing right here. So it selects not the one on layer two, but the one on shape one. Take your elliptical marquee, marquee, and make sure layer three is selected. Then drag out a little outline of a shine, a little shine thing. I have no idea what it's called, but it's the thing right there, the little top thing. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, now take your gradient. Um, after all the settings you put into it, press shift, drag down just a little bit below, okay, hit the move tool, then, no, 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 no. uh, 
don't do that. Press the elliptical again, right click and deselect. Now you can press the elliptical and double click on layer 3 in the blank area and bring the opacity down to 55. That's what I put mine at, and um, you can zoom out some to see what the uh, result is going to look like, and you can change it however you want. That's fine with me. Uh, if you don't want a ring, that's a uh, little circle thing. That's totally cool. Fine with me. Um, so, uh, if you don't want a ring, though, um, you can grab your ellipse tool, the shift, drag out a reasonable size for, uh, well... I've already got mine finished, but this is what yours is going to look like. Currently. Yeah. Options. Mm. That's what your circle's gonna look like. Crappy, isn't it? Yeah, that's not gonna be your ring, thankfully. Double click on the little blank area and bring the fill opacity down to zero. Click on the stroke menu and Size to 3, position inside, opacity 100, fill type color, blend mode normal, and color white. Now I'll click on the bevel and emboss. Style, emboss, technique, smooth, depth 144%, direction down, size 4 pixels, soften 2 pixels, and leave everything else is the, the same way it is. Um... Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow. So, it may be a little different for you. Uh, the settings, maybe. You can just play around with them until you get the desired effect. Um, it all depends on how big your circle is. Your ring is. And then, that's it, guys. You can add text, do whatever. You can get a file, save as, save it as whatever you want. If you watch videos on how to create a theme, not by me, I haven't made any. Um, you can uh, see how to save it in the right type of file. So yeah, that's how to make a icon of Photoshop. Thanks for watching.